Can digitalization help decouple economic growth and CO2 emissions? In other words, can digitalization enable green growth? This and other questions are the focus of the research group Digitalization and Sustainability. We are a team of young scientists who critically analyze digitalization from the perspective of different disciplines. We investigate the potentials, but also the risks of digital technologies for the urgently needed sustainability transformation of the economy and society. With our research, we look for ways to shape digitalization in the interest of the common good. But back to our question. It's often assumed that digitalization will enable decoupling. Decoupling would mean that economic growth is accompanied by substantially decreasing emissions. In our research, we empirically investigated just that, whether digitalization contributes to decoupling. Numerous studies have investigated how digitalization affects economic growth. They show that digitalization increases economic growth, but much less than did previous important technologies such as the steam engine or electric power. Our research was focused on the second part of the decoupling question, the environmental effects of digitalization, namely on greenhouse gas emissions and energy consumption. To investigate how greater digitalization affected greenhouse gas emissions, we used regression analyses for CO2 emissions of 31 industrialized countries worldwide. We distinguished between digitalization in companies and that in households. Our results show that at the company level, more digitalization is associated with more CO2 emissions. At the household level, more digitalization is also associated with more CO2 emissions in some countries and with less in others. But the most important finding is that the effect is very small in both cases. Digitalization does not strongly increase or decrease CO2 emissions. In terms of energy, we identified four effects of digitalization on how much energy is consumed. Efficiency improvements reduce energy consumption. Tertiarization, which means that services play a greater role than physical goods, also reduces energy consumption. Economic growth, sparked by digitalization, on the other hand, increases energy consumption. And energy use is also increased by the energy needed to manufacture and operate the digital devices. Overall, we conclude that the desirable effects, and in particular the efficiency gains, are much smaller than hoped for. This explains why, unfortunately, overall digitalization does not reduce energy consumption. So we conclude, digitalization slightly increases economic growth, and the positive and negative environmental effects of digitalization roughly cancel each other out. So far, Digitalization has thus hardly contributed to decoupling and hasn't succeeded in enabling green growth. For digital technologies to really contribute to environmental sustainability, the economic framework would have to change fundamentally. The positive digital potentials can only be realized within a profound social ecological transformation that goes beyond economic growth. More about our exciting research results at sustainabledigitalization.org, where all our publications can be found. It also hosts lots of other videos as well as lectures and links to our publications on various aspects of digitalization and sustainability.